And with that, let's move to our uh, next speaker, CA Pranav Pradeek Tulshan. He'll be discussing about using AI to get your personal office assistance. I think that's something which is another aspect of the practice, which is very relevant for chartered accountants. So, sir, the platform is yours. Thank you so much. Just wanted to confirm if my audio and video is coming fine. Yes. Thank you. So uh, good, uh, good evening, everyone. First of all, thanks to ICI for the wonderful platform it has uh, created in terms of AI hackathon. And yes, uh, kudos to ICI for the 100 episodes of uh, ICI, uh, AI with ICI thing. Now, I would uh, present with uh, my topic, which is use of AI to get your personal office assistant. We all know that the power of AI, we have seen so many demonstrations. It helps us to streamline our workflows. It helps us to bring more accuracy in whatever work we were already doing. And overall, it helps us to save our time so that we can focus on giving more value to our clients. So in the consideration of what client gives to us, we can uh, focus on how we can give him the better results in terms of adding more value to his processes and making him more aware of what other technologies he can be using. So uh, for today's demonstration, I'm giving you a, a, a one of the many out of many use cases. I'm giving one, one use case. So let us see a story of our CA solo. So he's a solo practitioner and his junior executive have just made a mess. He has created so many files and he has placed all the files in one single folder. So it's a hydration reminder. You should drink water. So let me just pause and drink. So by the way, that's again an AI assistant I've created for me who just reminds me to drink water. So uh, as we were saying, so his junior has created a mess. He has placed all the files in one single folder and given random names. As you can see, the names are not so accurate. The client names lies from Tata, somewhere Tata Consultancy, Tata Consult. So there are different spelling mistakes and all are in the single, sorry, single folder. So what he wants to do, he wants the goal is to get organized effortlessly because he cannot go around renaming all these and then creating all those folders manually. So he wants some effortless way to get organized. So what are the steps he has to follow? The first step is to first tag all the files that which files pertain to which client, which service it pertains to, whether it's a GST related or accounts related or income tax related and which year it pertains to. If I go back and show you the names, you can see. The TP audit basically it pertains to income tax 2023 means it pertains to that year and we prove the client name and you can see below GSTR1 Tata Jan 2423. So in this way, three things are mentioned. So we want to categorize and tag each file with what client, what service and what year it pertains to. That is the first step. Second step, the most uh, manual thing is to rename all those files. Now, how will be renaming? because we want the names to be accurate because whenever we send to the client is to give a good impression that the name has been correctly written. And the step three, again, a mammoth work is to organize it into multiple folders. Like if we have client, five clients, we want to organize into the five folders. Then we want to create a subfolders of each service type, GST income tax accounts. And then year wise, we want to move the files. So this is the three steps that we want to do. Uh, let me just show you how he wants the final output to look like. So this is the collection of all the 100 files that we have all messed up in one single folder. And he wants that inside each. He wants to create these five folders with name of each client. And then inside each service type, he wants to create year. And inside that, he wants to keep the file. So that is the goal of, uh, of the demonstration. So let's see how he's able to uh, do that. So let's see here in action, how we'll be uh, categorizing, correcting and organizing these files. And mind it that we won't be uploading any files to ChatGPT because again, these might contain some uh, sensitive data and we don't want to upload so many files to again to the cloud. So let's see how we are going to achieve it. So the first step is since I said I'm not going to upload any of the files. So we want to at least upload the file names, the names of all the files, right? So how we can do that? Simply control A, right click, and there's an option called copy as path. If you do this, uh, you can simply paste and you'll get the names of all the files, all the 100 files names will come. So as you can see, it's appearing a bit messy because uh, all the complete path has come. I just want the file names. So in Excel, we all know there's a replace 
option so we can simply go replace this much and done so we got the file names so we have this files name we can enter it like this also copy pasting but a better way is using a text join i have just joined it and made a simple one single text of all the file names so uh, the goal is to again get the service type the year and the client name against each of these so let's ask our ais we have gemini and chat gpt uh, so these are the links to the these are public links we can save this as well for the participants to go through later on so uh, i've asked chat gpt of uh, hey i need your assistance in classification activity it's always good to bring a back uh, background to a chat gpt at what we want to do i have a list of file names i want you to classify and categorize those file names based on some logic are you ready he said yes of course i'm ready so basically i have the list of 100 files and below is the classification criteria we have to give on what basis do you want to classify so each files need to be tagged with three things the client name and we have given the client name we don't want it to guess what is the client name because it's always better that we know these are the correct client names out of these five only you have to categorize so this is the client name service type will be either gst or income tax or accounts so how will chat gpt know how to categorize so we have given him the rule under gst files will be like gstr1 gstr2 b gstr3b if file name has anything it will be gst if the file name has something like itr3 itr6 tp audit report it will come under income tax and if file name has something called balance sheet profit and loss cash flow audit report it will come under accounts this is a service type classification and third is the year okay the poster reminder again that we should be sitting straight so this is my second assistant who helps me to make a correct poster sorry for the interruption again so yeah we were saying to the year so in the year we have given him three possible options 23 24 24 25 and 22 23 so we have given him that we have months like april 24 like the explanation of the financial year we have done the entire prompt and we have said i want you to provide output in five columns for each file name and the five columns will be original file name client name service type year and revised file name and based on this i want that these file names to be classified i've given pasted all the file names and you can see it has given me a wonderful table structure which i can copy paste directly in excel but if you see in the year it has given me unknown in many cases chat gpt won't figure out which year it was so I took help of Gemini. Maybe it was better. Same prompt, nothing changed in the prompt. And if you see Gemini, Gemini did a wonderful work of identifying all the uh, years. And uh, it has given me all the year in all the cases. We can export it to seats and get the data. So, and also one thing if you would uh, notice, I have also asked it to give a revised file name. Like if the Reliance name was given as Reliance, I asked it to Reliance, the name should be proper right so in that way if you see mahindra um, like any original name it has correctly uh, revised the file names as well and given me the table so this is how the table looks like so this is the 100 files and the tables it has given just simply copy paste it's output from ai no changes made now if you see as we know ai is not 100 percent accurate it makes errors right so you can see in tata consultancy it has made an error it revised the file name as tata consultancy consultancy so these are always manual stage has to be done and uh, and let's see for other things whether it did some error there as well or not infosys everything is infosys it's great and uh, let's see one more tata consultancy everything is tata consultancy so client name it has accurately identified let's go to service type accounts you'll see all profit and loss cash and uh, cash flow profit and loss audit report it has uh, correctly done under accounts if you see gst all the gstr 3b gstr 1 and all gst have been kept under service type and year is also, uh, let's see if it's correctly identified, November 23-24, it has been correctly done. In the names, we have few errors. So definitely, as we would review an article work, we have to review AI's work. Last two minutes. So these are the manually reviewed and correctly file names done. And uh, now, the second prompt was to uh, make the folders, rename and segregate it. So again, I did the same prompt to AI that uh, i want to move it like what i want to do i did return it exactly i have this excel file with these tables and i want to uh, move all these files to the folders it has given me step by step process of how we can do and i also return i don't want to use any software or any coding or anything i don't want to do any coding so that is where it has given me of how we can write this command and we can have this bat file to be created so the simple command as the ai said me I'll just copy paste it. 
come to this folder right click on it go to text document uh, move files we can give any name and the output which it gave me i'll save it and run it so as you can see one bad file created and here's the magic simply double clicking on it some commands get run and you see everything got sorted as per the classification which we have done under accounts under the year we got the files audit report and all so this is how you can quickly one small use case of how quickly he did uh, the all the categorization correction and the organization of the files and also the file names got renamed if you see so all these steps were done in a single use case so as we said ai is not sufficient in itself we have to know some other uh, small tools as well so this was my uh, thing about ai things we have to be careful about verification of ai output that is something that has to be done so thanks for watching everyone some behind the scenes fun fact the 100 misspelled names with the files that was generated through ai the 100 actual files i created those files using ai by using a python code we created the files the water reminder app and the poster reminder app which you saw in the screen coming that was also created using ai all the images that are used in this presentation are created through ai none of the images are google generated or something it is generated through ai and this entire presentation also generated through ai so this is the just a showcase of how we can actually use ai into doing multiple work uh, so i would really it's a great platform and i want to connect and collaborate with everyone who is working on the ai field and thanks to ai uh, thanks to ici for giving this opportunity thank you so much thank you very much uh, this was a lovely presentation and i think uh, uh, having uh, uh, data which is completely arranged and structured uh, takes you a long way, definitely makes your life easier. And now we have a tool to do that, again, in conjunction with uh, different other tools. And in true sense, I suppose you're uh, completely AI empowered with your presentation till your use case completely built up by AI. So that's great.